Our final alumni fellow was Mark Yardley from the School of Business. Mark earned an accounting degree from Washburn in 1977 and lives in Barrington, Kansas. He is president and CEO of Federal Home Loan Bank of Topeka. He began there in 1984 and became president in 2017. His friends and colleagues all speak of Mark's integrity and support. Kathy Schmidtberger told the story of her son being deployed to Afghanistan in 2011. She said, when he saw my desperate attempts to occupy my mind by reaching out to local veterans with PTSD, he not only contributed generously on a financial basis, but he helped us prepare a garden at the local VA hospital. He would tell me that he did not serve in the armed forces, but he still wanted to help, and help he did, not only the veterans, but me, during one of the darkest years of my life. Mark breached the protocol of work, 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 and found, really, uh, uh, and found what really motivates employees, a sense of family. A co-worker, Warren, said, my prayer some 34 years ago was for God to provide someone who would be, a good, who would be good to work with and strong in character and integrity. Wow, was that prayer answered. Denise said, you are one of the most intelligent, generous, and humble in individuals I have ever met. You have been a leader, mentor, running partner, and most importantly, a good friend. Mark is a trustee for the University of Kansas Health System St. Francis campus. He is a Washburn University Alumni Association Foundation trustee and member of the board of directors. Of his life service, his daughter, Katie Caberline, said, Growing up, I remember the work ethic you instilled in us kids through watching you always give your all. His son-in-law, Nathan, said, You do not ask for anything in return only an understanding that if you're blessed with it, be responsible with it and grow it, a pay it forward mentality. Quoting the book of Matthew in the Bible and relating it to her dad, Katie said, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Mark, on behalf of the Washburn Alumni Association and School of Business, we are pleased to honor you as a Washburn Alumni Fellow. Susie, I appreciate the introduction, and I do appreciate all the work with the Alumni Association, Danny, as uh, Jalen said. Thanks for shepherding us through the process. Uh, believe it, I need all the help I need I can get. Uh, thanks to the School of Business, too, Dr. Sollers and the School of Business for uh, this recognition. I appreciate it. It's uh, a surprise and, and truly an, an honor. I look at the list of, it, of the people that were recognized with me. I served on the foundation, uh, the board of directors, and the trustees with uh, Gilbert and Ann, and you know, we'll find, find individuals they are. It's definitely an outstanding group. I'm truly honored to, to be uh, included and humbled to be included with this group. Uh, special thanks to my wife, married between my sophomore and junior year. Sitting, sitting over there, we, we lived in the married between housing. So Washburn is a very special place for us. The first two years of our, our lives together in married between housing it, uh, was certainly not a, an extravagant place. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheap. <laughs> but uh, the, whether it's the, the volleyball that we play in the out there with the other, other people that lived in the housing or the socialists that we had there. Uh, and, and we also went over to normal for the football game. Went over to the Cracker Box, they call a uh, basketball court in uh, White and Field House. Tried to get there early so you didn't sit behind some place, set some place where you couldn't see the game happen. So uh, always something to see, maybe something to do right there. Uh, I reflect back, and I've heard a number of people say it already, but what I reflect on is the, the staff, faculty at Washburn. You know, I, I came here and, and I wasn't a number, I wasn't a list of a person on, on a, on a uh, attendance list. I was a 
individual. I was somebody they knew. Uh, Dr. James, County Department, was a great, great man and uh, first, had first come to Portland at that time. Uh, I think uh, uh, Dr. Huffman, who was, our, who was my uh, auditing teacher, Dr. Wolf, who was economics, uh, Gary Baker. Dr. Baker stayed back over there. Uh, it just started at, at, at Warsburg uh, Finance and Investment Class. Uh, but the thing is, I don't just remember my business professors. I remember my other professors that I had, that I had my, my math, math uh, Terry McAdams. If you've never read his book, get his book and, and, and read it. Uh, it has a great story to, to tell of uh, an unfortunate event that. Uh, he lived through the drive uh, And you can who, who taught uh, my statistics class, uh, couldn't find the book she liked, so she created her own, maybe wrapped it off, and, and uh, created her own book. And I uh, also reflect on the uh, English departments. I had literature, Howard Faulkner, Faulkner Dr. Faulkner. Uh, he, he actually wrote the reviews for, the, for movies newspaper. I could always count that if, if he liked the movie, I didn't bother going to it. <laughs> if he painted the movie, I, I could go to it and enjoy it. <laughs> but he, he did have a living, a living impact on me, and I had for a class of uh, his comments and papers. And was, you know, I, I, I understand what you're writing down here, but I said, class, I want to know what you think. Uh, Dr. Robert Stein, uh, a uh, the head of the English department at, at that time. Uh, he had an impact on, on my life too. Probably one of the uh, few accountants that ever had a uh, head of the English department as on their resume when they graduated from college. But uh, he was a, a great, great guy. Uh, I look back at Washburn and think of the, the saying, to whom much is given, much is expected. I can give them a lot. I just hope I can do something live up to those expectations. <coughs> Place on me from everything that I've, I've learned here and experienced. Uh, two words in closing to uh, 